Hello, I'm going to be doing a commentary on Trace, the Cool Math Games. I guess it's not the color bomb game on Cool Math Games. And let's get started. Oh, I guess we have to sit through this long intro. And while you're here, please subscribe and like the video if you enjoy the content. And that's all. at first we have these arrows on the side to look all around us now the camera control is a little wonky with these sometimes but just gonna have to get used to it uh, another helpful note which I have found really useful was the camera so let's say I want to take a photo of this door take a photo and if I go to notes right here and even draw on it and if I really need to I can I can, have, I can have six of these at once. Um, but other than that, yeah, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look up here and I'm going to see this star with these these colored pins, which is going to be used on this puzzle down here. So let's just make star one, two, one, two, three, one. All right, that's going to unlock this door right here. Which, if I look, I'm going to see this 16 here, which I'm going to take a photo of, because that's going to be used later on a combination lock, which is right behind this painting. I'm going to have four different numbers right here. But for now, we're not going to deal with that. And then I got this half of a scissor. The other half is going to be over here to our right in this kitchen sink. So I'm going to pick that up. And then I'm going to combine them and, get, and use it on this key over here. But so I'm going to use on this box over here which has this red keyhole and then it's gonna have another number I'm gonna take a photo of that in this crumpled piece of paper and if I uncrumple it you can see it's actually a photo of the bathroom side which I just looked over here so if I click on it and overlay the photo oh no that's not it's gonna line up and tell me to click this tile so let's click on it right here and then it's going to reveal another puzzle with the five colored pins. So let's just go ahead and do that. And then that's going to unlock this right side door over here. Which if we go in, it's going to give us this helpful numbers. And this is actually going to be used with, in conjugation with all these other numbers we're finding. So as you, sound, as you see, we found 16 and 35, so I'm going to write that in here. These are all going to be fractions, so we're going to get two more numbers later. So 16. Alright, so we have 7 and 2 for right now. Next, the next number I'm actually going to find is right here on this toilet paper roll. It's going to be a 5. So I'm going to go into my notes, write a 5 here, which is going to be 5 up here. Now if you want to, you can brute force it, but I'd rather not. And you go through all the puzzles. Now, this puzzle is actually going to correspond to these lights up here. One, three, four, lit on. So I'm going to go over here. One, three, four. And I'm going to get my last number, which is going to be an eight, which is going to give me a four up here. So now, if I go to this safe here, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two. It's going to unlock. Do this long animation. And then I'm going to get this light bulb and it will give you a hint in the info. It's going to say it needs to be put in the socket. I think I saw a socket in the pumpkin, which I found earlier in that first cabinet. So if we click on the little cutout part here, the light bulb in, it's going to light up and give us another puzzle with the colored pins. This is going to be our final puzzle. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then that's going to unlock this final cabinet over here. And I'm going to pick up this sliding block with the key symbol on it, which was you, which we can use on this door over here. And then it's just a puzzle to get this block to the end here to unlock the door. 
So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that here. Feel free to slow it down, pause it if you need some time to look at it. All right, and just like that, we're out of the first room. Let's exit. And the door is actually going to lock behind us. So, this don't worry, this will come important later. And next, we can just look and see. We can see this little blue maze, which we will use very shortly. And then behind this painting that was right in front of us, there's actually going to be this little symbols puzzle. So, we're going to do that right after we do this other planet puzzle. So, if we go out into this main area and go to our right, we can see these five planets up here. And if we click this cabinet down here, we can see five more planets. And these are going to correspond to the positions up here, which is down, up, middle, up, and middle. So if I do that down, up, and click the red button, I get this tile. And these were the exact same symbols that we saw in that symbols, symbols puzzle behind the painting. And how we get the other piece, this, it's because it's broken, we can go through over behind us and open up this cabinet marked with an X. And, and we get this little blue creature and if we click on the head it's going to unfurl into a giraffe and we're able to move it all around like this and so it's going to tell us that we might have seen these colors and shapes somewhere else which we have which if you remember was on this glass window with the blue maze so if I overlay the two and line it up we have two blue diamond we need the other piece of the puzzle which will be it in. We now have all five symbols with so we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. And you can click this button, it's not gonna do anything until we press all all the red buttons that are around here in the right order. And the way we can find the right order is by this little picture up here. It's gonna tell us that we have to click on the fish tank. The fan that's over there, the computer, the mo the planet puzzle we just did, the symbol puzzle we just did, and the swan. The last this swan right be a red button can be found through this yellow perspective book over here. So we scroll all the way here. We can see this box with the green door that has a little swan in it. And now if I back up and turn to our left, we can see the box and the green door right over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and press them in the order. Fish tank. And planets, and also if you only need to press them once, don't need to press them twice. Symbols, and if you click on the box, it should unlock it. And if we open it, we get a box cutter. We have a ring key. The box cutter tells us that it can be used to cut through carpet fabric. And we have this green key, the green key for green lock, which we'll use right now on this door. Oh, I forgot I had to take it Next is this jigsaw puzzle, which you can do yourself. I'm not going to help you with that. Come on, it's a jigsaw puzzle. And also, we're going to be finding the stars every now and then. It said, I wonder how many there are, but every now and then we might find a star and I'll point that out. All right, I'm all finished with the puzzle. We are gonna be missing a piece. We will get that piece later. But for right now, I'm going to leave that alone. And if you remember from the perspective book, which I'll go back to it. If you scroll through it twice, you can see there's a star underneath the table that has a blue cover over it, which was the table we were just in the puzzle. Jigsaw puzzle. So if I click underneath it, we will get our second star. Next, there's this little figurine right here, which is a big up to my empire finger. It's not going to have any use until very late, until the game, very late into the, ooh, this game room. And the next puzzle we can actually do is this one right over here. This will show us four different flowers we can choose from. And if you remember, this was the window frame in the first room of this game room. So if I go over here, we can now, we can now take a photo of this, we can see for four flowers with one in each quadrant. So if I go over here, it's going to be the big pot, and 
the yellow uh, file that is. Yellow, sorry, white um, file that is. The green one and the pink one. So let's check that. That affects the red one. So if I can lift the cushions up and find the first battery. And next, I can also click on the side of the couch and get this little ogre figurine. And then with these batteries, I can actually go behind me into the table. And there's this light right here, which has two batteries. So I'll plug them both in, click the button. And this is going to light up this on the ceiling it's gonna have an arrow pointing left on it and this the clue this clue will actually be used in this carpet puzzle which is beneath the table I can use the box cutter on it and cut off the carpet and then it's gonna give me this puzzle where I can rotate all these black hearts in any direction I want and if you remember from just two seconds ago there was a photo of a heart with the left arrow on it so Every single heart here is going to have an arrow point to its left relative to the heart. So I'm going to take a photo and then I'm going to draw a, a path or arrows on every single one. So just give me one second here. Now that I've drawn on the arrows, I'm going to just draw a line from here to there. This arrow, which is going to go this way. And since we can rotate these hearts anyway, I'm just going to say it can go any direction. So I'm going to go here, this way, this way, up, this way, up again. And then I'm going to go right down, right up, right up, and we're going to get all the way here. So the only arrows I need to turn are... This one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So if I put them all in the right order, I get a little yellow submarine. I've all heard we live one of these. Who doesn't love a good video reference? And then we get our final puzzle piece. And if we look on it, it's gonna tell it's gonna give a yellow knife marking, which is this. Don't know why he used yellow, but knife is orange. Color bomb your game is absolutely ruined because of this and if we go over here click up and cut it out we can get this hexagonal shaped key with some hexagonal sorry pentagonal shaped key with a triangle circle and a trapezoid in it now it's also going to give us a hint i've seen a pentagon underneath the computer so i'm going to go to underneath the computer and you can see this whole little Pentagon with some bunch of numbers randomly strewn, and we also have if we overlay it, we can get these numbers 923. I'm gonna take a photo of this, I guess I can't. So I'm gonna take a photo of it and then I'm gonna circle the 9, the 2, the 9, the 2, and the 3. That's gonna be useful um, right now, actually. So if we go into this Adventures of a Wayward Cosmonaut and skip all the way to the end. It's going to show us this computer and a gear with the three exact, the triangle, the circle, and the trapezoid. And it's going to ask for a number of each of them. So if we go over to the computer, turn it on, click on the gear, we can enter the numbers, which were 9, 2, and 3 right here. So 9, 2, nope, that's not 9. 9, 2, 3. And then it's going to give us two prompts here. And the way we can actually use these is 
first I'm gonna look at this book that's over here. It's robots. It's gonna show us how these robots work. We can operate the submarine on a computer. It can die for treasure with the arm. It's actually missing the arm, which we'll get later. And the robot monkey, it can climb on ropes. So before I use the computer, I'm gonna put our, our submarine in the little fish tank. I'm gonna go to the computer here, and then I'm gonna operate the submarine. I'm gonna die first. There's nothing behind us. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go into this castle. And then I'm gonna get this set of numbers right here, which I'm gonna take a photo of, and I'm gonna get this chest. And it's gonna say that I don't have the arm, so I'm just gonna back. It's gonna go return to surface. I'm gonna leave that in there for now. But where these numbers can be used is on this door over here, which has eight numbers. Sorry, nine numbers, which where you got nine numbers from in the castle. So two six three three six six one six one. Two six three three six six one six one. It's gonna unlock the door. And this we're gonna get another star. And it's gonna give us a puzzle. And if we click on the left here, it says play stars on grid, then one star for love for whatever. And that puzzle, you're actually supposed to do through trial and error, but we're not gonna do that. I'm gonna speed it up and show you the solution once I get all, I believe there's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight stars. Next star is right here by the base of the sofa. We're at five. Next, I'm actually gonna go back to the computer and oh, not that button. And I'm gonna operate the robot monkey. And then it's gonna show us this really weird image of well, some planet, solar system, some bridge, I guess, over there, bridge puzzle. And then I'm gonna click climb. And then it's gonna show us X O X O U. And this these are used on these drawers right here. So X O it's gonna give an unlocking sound. We can unlock you. We can get this magnet, and there was this little tube glass, some tube that we could not get the star out of. Well, now we can because we have this magnet. All right, and now we have six stars. We're just missing two. The next star is on this painting over here. Which I'm just going to pick up, and now we have seven, and the last star we can get by going outside, going all the way over to this piano, which I skipped over, and picking up our piano. Look at that piano right over. And if I go back over here, and I'm just going to place a star in every quadrant. Alright, and I'm going to click the red button. It's going to be, it's going to like that we have a star in each quadrant, but it's also not going to like a star that we have a star well, directly next to each other, so I'm going to pick up every, every star. Now the way I solve this puzzle is I start with this and knowing that this has to be red, but you can solve this on your own. It just takes a little bit of trial and error, but I'm going to either cut or speed up the solution. Whichever one's faster. I have the solution right here, and it's going to make sure that we have none that are the same traits and ups and all around, and that's going to unlock this door. We can go outside. There's just going to be this turnaround button. Don't know why it exists. Um, not super useful. Yes. Then we can just do that. Anyways, if I turn right, we can go into this sort of. Don't know what to call it. Next, I'm going to go left here and. I'm going to go over here to the symbols puzzle. This actually looks exactly like the symbols puzzle we saw earlier. And it's going to ask us for the symbol that's in the, the square, the, the square, the fifth, fourth, second, third, and sixth square. So I'm going to go back to the symbols puzzle. Now I can't actually change it, unfortunately. So I'm just going to take a photo of this. And I'm going to go to notes, and then it said it wanted the, 
do not remember. That's why I take a photo. Alright, it's gonna ask for the fifth, third, second, fifth, fourth, second, third, and sixth. So fifth, third, oh. fourth, third, second, sixth, or second, third. This V S crack line base B and this triangle. S crack backwards B and it's gonna unlock. Then we get another figurine, a little Phoenix figurine. This is probably my favorite. And this key is gonna have an umbrella symbol right here. Which we can use to un unlock the umbrella we saw earlier by the jigsaw puzzle. So I'm going to go up to the umbrella, unlock it, and then it's going to cover this chair and shade, and it's going to close the eye. And then it's going to show us this gear with like the switches hat in it. Now, this gear is not the same gear as the computer. Two different things, and so then you're gonna give us a clue that I suppose in the dark, which we'll use really quickly. So if I go back in, and instead of going left, I go right here and go into this door. We can see this eye and the year we just saw. So it's gonna ask us to make a witch's hatch. So I'm just gonna go like this. Oh, I already messed it up. Just like that. It's going to give all these lights that are above us some little chains to turn them off. And then this is just a puzzle where if you turn off one light, all three lights around it turn off. So we're going to do this. Right until we have. We did that, and then we just have six right here. Bam. And now we've turned off all lights, so now this eye should open in the dark. And then it's going to reveal it all. I forget what type of diagram. Venn diagram. There we go. It escaped my mind. And then it's going to ask for things that coincide with fire, having teeth and wings. So, this Dracula dude, he has teeth and he has a cape. It's not wings. Whatever. And then this work guy, he has torch and teeth. And then our phoenix has wings and fire, so we're going to put it right there. Now we're missing one more, which we will get to very soon, if I remember. Next, and then I'm going to look right to our left, and then it's going to have an arrow pointing to where the piano is and say cabbage faced. So I'm going to go back to the piano and play cabbage faced on it. And then it's going to give us three words, I did deeds. So I'm going to take a photo of that. And this can be used on the cabinet we saw right next to the second sim symbols puzzle. So if I open the cabinet up, it's going to give us this prompt after three words, one with one letter, three letters, five letters, which is going to be I did deeds. And we're going to get our final figurine here, the dragon. It's gonna have fire teeth and wings. Don't really see the teeth aspect, it doesn't really have fangs. 
But anyways, we're going to place it. It's going to fill up the Venn diagram. And then this is the weirdest set of effects. And we get, and we just get a screwdriver from nowhere. And this screwdriver, we're going to be using on this metal plate that was right below the yellow book, the perspective book, right here, which has the castle symbol, which is on the computer, and has password. So I'm going to unscrew it. We apparently lose, lose the screwdriver in, the, in, like, you know, in the process. And so I'm going to take a photo, and this is going to be the password for the other profile on the computer. So if I take a, I take a look at that, it's going to be sideways, so I have to make it normal, which is going to be open bracket, capital O, minus sign, capital I, minus sign, open bracket. So if I type that in, uh, I want to sign the bracket, and we get to sign in. It's gonna give us this prompt to play game. It's called Math and Magic. Okay, and I'm skipping this. You can you can pause and read if you want to, but this guy is apparently a weirdo, and he also like prove to his. I don't know, boss, wizard boss, like he's like the greatest person ever. And these symbols, they're all going to be random order of operation symbols. This one's actually going to be multiplication if I remember. Yeah. And we want to match the number there. And then it's also going to give us this other squiggly symbol, which means equal. This one is subtraction, so... Or division, I believe. Addition. I get that one with addition. This one is subtraction. Yeah, that one is subtraction. And we get a last one division. Three. Two, this is subtraction again. So. Now these symbols, we are we're, we're the expert, but we can use these symbols down on this puzzle right here, and it's going to have the exact same symbols we just saw before. And so on each one, we want to make all these numbers on the left equal to the number on the right. So I'm going to set every single one up first with the equal sign. Okay, so 8 divided by 4 equals 2. Eight minus 6 minus 2 equals 0 and 1 times 2 2 plus 3 times plus 3 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 equals 9 it's going to unlock and now next we get the second book and to actually to use these two books the first one the blue book and the orange one we actually have to go back to the go to lighthouse watchtower and we have to go upstairs here which we have not gone before and if you can see, we can see the monkey level. We're going to take that and the solar system. Next, it's there's also this puzzle over here, this bridge puzzle we saw earlier. If you remember, we crossed a bridge to get over to the lighthouse. And we're also going to be using this robot to help us. There's a crate over there, which we're going to send the robot off onto. So it can see what the symbols are. So we're going to just get over here, attach it, go back to the computer. rather fast climber and we can go to our left and we can see the symbols I'm going to take a photo of that I'm going to exit I want to go all the way back to the puzzle so if I take a look at my photos we circle square triangle star circle, no, circle square triangle star Square triangle circle. And it's gonna unlock. And then it's gonna give us this. I don't know what this is. I don't know. I'm not gonna bother. But it's gonna give us this order of planets that we have to go in. 
And then we're not going to know. We actually do know the order of planets, and we also know the launch date through the two books, the cosmonauts books we saw. So first things first, I'm going to look at the first one. And if you can see at the top here, it's going to tell us so three planets. It's going to tell us Mercury, Mars, and who knows what the planet is. So it's going to be orange, Earth, white. And if we go to the second book, we get orange, blue, white. And we get our launch date, 2793. So if we go up to that puzzle. Mars, Earth, wherever that planet is. Mars, blue planet, whatever this is. And 2793. If I hit go, it's actually going to run this simulation on this thing and it's going to end with everything being right here I'm going to take a photo of this and this is going to be the last puzzle we're going to do if you remember from when I did the planet puzzles there was this pyramid on top which we I avoided because it's the last puzzle so I'm going to take a look and all the dots can actually turn a bunch of random colors here so I'm going to go to my notes, so the first one you have white, next we have red, purple and then yellow and then black, and then green, orange, blue, and blue, and we unlock the puzzle, we can grab the key. And if you remember, I pointed out that the door to the room we first started in was locked. We can use this pyramid key on it. Unlock the door, and there's this final lock on here. We can use our pentagram key. Pentagram. Pe pentagonal key on it. And we can use it. Congratulations, easy trace. Um, yeah. Hope you enjoy. Hope this helped. Um, leave a comment if you had something you didn't understand or need help for a puzzle or, or a clue that doesn't give away everything, as I would be happy to respond. Have a great day.